Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. I want to talk today about the Torah and the purpose of the creation of the world. The Torah is one with Hashem. The Torah is, a, is the expression of Hashem's will, His wisdom. And the Torah is sourced in, in incredibly great, from incredibly great heights. The Torah is sourced from even higher than the world itself. The worlds, as you know, Hashem is beyond infinite. And in order to get this world that we live in now, there are many different levels and lofty levels in between the highest level and here. And basically, <coughs> it all started that Hashem revealed His infinite light. And from there, He, can, he, he, he brought down, he, he creates worlds that each world, the lower you get in these worlds, the more Hashem is hidden. What, what makes a world, what, what, what differentiates between the higher worlds and the lower worlds? The higher worlds have a greater revelation of Hashem. And the lower worlds have a lower revelation of Hashem. The, the, the lower you go down, the more the beings in that world feel their own creation. And the less they feel Hashem. The higher you go, the more they feel Hashem and less they feel themselves until you get so high up that they don't even feel themselves. All they feel is Hashem. Their whole existence of these, of these, the souls that are there or the angels that are there is that they feel completely um, surrendered to Hashem. They feel completely in awe of Hashem. But this world, what's unique about this world? In this world, at first glance, Hashem is completely hidden. But the Torah, which is sourced in the higher than any world itself, Torah, which is sourced in Hashem's infinite light, the Torah, it um, as it comes down, and the Torah even comes, the Torah is higher than any world. So when it comes down, it can even come down into this low, limited world at first glance. Like I said, this world at first glance seems like Hashem's hidden. But what is it? What do our tzaddikim say? That through work. Hashem is not hidden. He's just hidden at first glance. But with a little bit of effort, you can access Him. And that's what's so unique about the Torah, is that it's able to reveal Hashem in this physical world. Through a Torah, which is a book, which is writings, which is letters, you have Hashem enclosed in it. And you're able to access Hashem through the Torah. And Hashem specifically wanted the Torah to be brought down into this low physical world. So that the greatest, the highest heights of, of revelation that beyond that, that Hashem Himself will reveal Himself into this world, into this world, this lowly world. So it's like the, 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 the greatest revelation in the most concealed place. It's like they go hand in hand. In the place where Hashem was most hidden, He's going to be most revealed because the fact that He was so hidden, it sets the stage for the revelation to come. So we have to know that this is deep stuff that's, that's from Hasidus. It's from uh, uh, very deep Hasidus books from Chabad Hasidus from Samach Vav. So these are really deep concepts that we're talking about. But they're, they're, this is, the, this is, the, 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 this is the, the fabrics of the world we're dealing with. That Hashem is, is preparing to reveal Himself into this world. And through Torah. By us following the Torah, and if you're a Gentile following the Noahide laws, you are changing this world into because at first this world wouldn't be able to handle God revealing himself it would be too much for us to handle but since we're preparing ourselves with Torah and mitzvahs we become capable of absorbing God's light and relating to it and being in unity with Hashem so I think this is an important message that we all have to meditate upon let me know if you liked it I want to bless you all and the Torah itself is sourced in the highest level the Torah is one with Hashem it comes from Hashem himself so it's higher than any level that's, that's, that's above this world. So through that, we should, uh, we should rejoice to be united with Hashem through Torah and mitzvahs. Thank you. May Hashem bless you.